video here showing you how to uh, find the most accurate top dead center using a degree wheel. Um, so first thing you need to do is put a stop on the piston there. So we're a piece of stiff wire. We're obviously going to be gentle with this one. And um, you've got the degree wheel mounted down here on the crankshaft. So and the marker wire up there. So what we need to do is align this dial on there to zero degrees. Now we want to rotate the piston or the crankshaft round opposite way like this until you feel the piston stop. There we go, it's coming up. There we go, it stops there. So that has stopped at 195 degrees from the left. So what we're interested in is the distance we haven't traveled. So we know we've traveled um, 195 degrees around that way, which means we haven't traveled 165 degrees this way. Uh, making 360 in total, of course. So we take the 165 degrees we haven't travelled, we divide that by 2, we get 82.5 degrees, and then we just need to mark 82.5 degrees on here from where we are. And as we're at 15 degrees, plus 82.5 makes 97.5 degrees, which is marked there. And all we need to do now is remove the stop and rotate that to 87 and a half degrees and we are precisely at top dead center. Okay so I've removed the stop over there and if we move back if we rotate the wheel now to 97 and a half precisely there we go you'll see that it is exactly at top dead center I think that's about as accurate as you can get it. Oh, in case you're wondering, that's a xenomorph head made of car parts.